Broken bones, cuts and bruises were occupational hazards for Kevin Moran, who always played with total courage and commitment in a United shirt. I think he actually came with a background of Gaelic football, uh, which then he epitomised itself when he was actually playing for United. Because in Gaelic football, you don't actually need to use your arms and your elbows to defend yourself. And one of my uh, memories of uh, Kevin is the number of head injuries he used to get. Because he either used to head the back of the, uh, the player who he was marking, or the player used to catch him in the face anyway. In fact, I'm surprised United didn't actually uh, have a corner man for him to sort of sort out all his cuts he had that many during his career. Just 48 hours ago, Kevin Moran's very life was in danger. He swallowed his tongue after being knocked unconscious against Newcastle United. Extremely brave. He had lots of fighting qualities. And he was really a good Manchester United player that you needed in those days. The, the old-fashioned centre-half, get the ball, boot it up the field and let somebody with a bit of skill deal with it and, uh, and get on with it. Yeah, that, that, was, that was Kevin's game. Legend has it that Kevin had more than 100 stitches during his time at United, but nothing matched the pain of the 1985 FA Cup final. Oh, intercepted by Reid and brought down with a desperate challenge by Kevin Moran. I also remember him being, I think, was the first player ever sent off in an FA Cup final, which again is a, a memory that probably he doesn't want to remember. I don't think he should have been sent off. I'm sure Peter Reid dived. He feels as close to tears as anybody can without actually showing them. I've said all along that a football team, if you pick the 11 best players in the world, they wouldn't make the best football team. A football team is a little bit like a cake mix. You need a mixture of all different players to actually make a football team. And you need a player like Kevin, who just gets stuck in, as I say, to give the ball to someone who can play a bit. And that helps to make your team go. 